SummerSlam is two weeks away and we are yet to pass Monday Night Raw in the ratings, right? So I literally sat here and thought to myself, how can I get fans to tune in to our show? And then I just remembered that this is a WWE. All I gotta do is bring back a legend, bro. You all know it's true. Whenever WWE needs to pop a rating, what do they do? Bring back a legend. So why don't we do the same? And I actually got a very good program for this legend. I wanna bring back Shawn Michaels to put over Cesaro as our universal champ and the face of Friday Night SmackDown. And that match at SummerSlam will be so, so dope, bro. We gotta do it. But of course, before I continue, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It only takes a second to subscribe. I'll give you that second right now. See? That simple. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment. Let's get things rolling. So you guys see all the legends here. I actually want to bring back The Undertaker. But we are going to bring back Shawn Michaels. We're bringing him out of retirement to face off against Cesaro. And his class is a uh, specialist. That's good because a specialist works well with any other like class type. We are going to be able to sign Shawn Michaels for five weeks. We have the money to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do so. Welcome back to the WWE. Welcome to Friday Night SmackDown, HBK. Commissioner goal is going to be completed. And in terms of power cards, here's what I plan to do with my power cards. I plan to spam my power cards once I get to SummerSlam. That's my plan. So the best power cards that I could get, or the better the power card, the better. I'm going to just save it for SummerSlam. So this is our current show for this episode of Friday Night SmackDown. Shawn Michaels is going to come out and call out Cesaro. It's going to be a dope show. So AJ Styles versus Rey Mysterio. Great opening match. Tables match. Of course, AJ Styles gets the dub. You see I'm rocking my AJ shirt right here. Three stars. Michaels calls out Cesaro. Let's get that rivalry going. New rivalry. Going to SummerSlam is going to be lit. It might even extend past SummerSlam for one more pay-per-view. Bianca and Dakota Kai against Tony Storm and Rhea Ripley. Let's see who wins this tag match. Dakota and Bianca. Oh, I got three stars for that. And a tag team rivalry. Tag team rivalries makes no sense. So we have no tag team titles to fight over. John Cena with his promo. We got some extra fans. Main event, Cesaro versus John Morrison, of course. Cesaro is going to retain. I never had no doubt in my mind. That was an amazing matchup. Four stars. The rivalry between Cesaro and Morrison is complete. I was unaware of them even having a rivalry, but hey, championship match. He wanted it. Let's see what Raw got going on. Yo, Raw really needs to do something. They didn't even book no promos. They got TLC WWE Championship match to start the night that's not bad but the main event a hell in a cell match oscar versus mandy they just book a bunch of random matches bro and of course their opening match got more stars than us it's a wwe championship match and it's tables ladders and chairs come on bro like they literally spam match types every single week i'm surprised they didn't book any promos that's not good for raw i feel like we beat them in the ratings this week for sure Fifty-nine thousand new fans for us Let's see. Ah, uh, we're still second in the rankings, but we completed the commissioner goal. We got an extra power card. Oh, Raw got 43,000 fans, so we definitely beat them in the ratings this week. That's what I want to see. Overall, we're still second place to them, which isn't too bad. Almost to SummerSlam, though. One week away from SummerSlam, Rhea Ripley wants to talk to me. Dakota has been handing me nothing but L's. She wants to face somebody else. Hmm... I'm gonna go with I don't think so, but yeah, I'll go with that. Cause we kind of have a rivalry going with those two already. I don't want to just stray away from it. Dana Brooke wants to talk to me. She's not even on my show. I'm sick of working for William Regal on Raw. She wants to ditch her contract with Raw and come to SmackDown. Talk about rubbing it in their face. I'm gonna do it, why not? Welcome to Friday Night SmackDown, Dana Brooke. I'll see you next week. So she's not going to be on this week's show. She's going to be on next week. She literally jumped ship. Triple H wants Dakota Kai to fight this week. Don't worry, I got you covered, bro. And in terms of our power cards, I am spamming these going into SummerSlam. Double the cost of Raw in next week's show. I don't think this is for SummerSlam because they treat SummerSlam as a new week. But I think I'm going to go ahead and use that right now. Who knows, it might go towards Monday Night Raw or SummerSlam. Honestly, I don't care too much about this week's episode of SmackDown, but it shouldn't be that bad. Keith Lee, oh, I thought Keith Lee was gonna win. John Morrison beats Keith Lee 
in a mediocre two-star matchup. Bianca versus Tony Storm. Let's keep that rivalry going. Heading to SummerSlam. That's going to be a big match. Dakota versus Rhea. Dakota wins again. Yo, Rhea got to be tight. Three stars. She has to be so upset. Shawn Michaels, Cesaro, keep that promo work going. We're going to send the fans home happy with a nice tag team Extreme Rules match. John Cena and Drew McIntyre beats AJ and Sheamus. Four stars. Was not expecting that, but hey, we send the fans home happy. Let's see what Raw got cooking up. Wow. Benjamin versus Ivar. I feel like I see this match every single week on Raw. Like, how are their ratings even good? So, skipping past Raw... We beat them in every match except for the opening match. Shelton Benjamin versus Ivar, bro. I'm tired of seeing that match. Their main event, our main event was actually better than a women's championship match. Becky Lynch versus Natalia. Wait, Natalia won the championship. Or was she already champ? 42,000 fans for our show this week. And we get another power card heading into SummerSlam. Let's see, Raw got 41,000. So we slightly beat Raw in the ratings. Slightly beat them, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. We still beat them in the ratings. Look, we are literally 3,000 fans away from passing Raw. And we got to do so with this SummerSlam card. It's almost time. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Week 10 to SummerSlam. Triple H said something's come up and we can't have AJ Styles taking week in this. Come on, bro. Dana Brooks says, great to be joining you on SmackDown. Okay. Looking forward to... Okay. Whatever. Sheamus says... He wants to partner with me? I know I was dope back in the day, but I'm retired now. Mr. Magnificent is retired. I can't do that. I'm not interfering in none of my superstars matchups. I'm not doing that. Definitely not. I'm sorry, Sheamus, but can't do it. His morale went down, but I don't care. I'm not doing that. Told you guys I was going to spam the power cards. I'm buying that one, and I'm also getting too extreme. There we go. So... Now that we are at SummerSlam, it's time to spam the power cards and put together the best show possible. Look, you see, this is our show logistics. We got the SummerSlam arena. We got all the optional bonuses. We have all of those maxed out. But I don't want to pay for the SummerSlam arena, so free arena bro booking. I said I was going to say brooking. <laughs> I was thinking of Dana Brooks. Free arena booking applied, so we don't pay no money for that. We save money on that. And also, free special effects booking as well. So we saving money and putting together the best show possible. Also, special promotion. Most fans will be kept at the end of this week. That's what we want to do. We want to keep fans and make sure that we're getting new fans. A little bit of TLC. So one randomly booked TLC match will receive a higher than normal rating. And pre-match physio, I think I said that right, physio, reduces the probability that a superstar will become injured. I really don't know who I want to choose for this. I want to choose Tony Storm, but I kind of think Bianca Belair might win. I'll choose Bianca. Why not? So let's look at this SummerSlam card. Hell in a Cell match. We are ending the rivalry between Bianca and Tony Storm big time. That's our opening match. Dana Brooke, she's a good guy. Time to go heel. Dakota versus Rhea Ripley in an Extreme Rules match. They've been feuding for a while. Their rivalry is kind of new, but we'll make it work. John Cena going to call out AJ Styles because I can't have AJ Styles on this show. I wanted to do that match, but since I can't do so, next best thing is a promo. I didn't expect to be able to call him out since he is vetoed from this week, but... Putting together a rivalry between John Cena and AJ Styles for the next pay-per-view will be pretty good. Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus. They should end their rivalry tonight. One-on-one. -on -one, extreme rules. Both of them are good in that match. Advertising promo of Rey Mysterio. But the main event. Cesaro. HBK. Universal Championship. TLC. HBK coming out of retirement. First match of the night. Bianca versus Tony Storm. Hell in a Cell. SmackDown Women's Championship. Tony Storm retains... Four and a half stars. Let's go. That's how you end a rivalry, bro. You always got to end a rivalry with a big name match like Hell in a Cell. Four and a half stars. That's how you open a show. Dana Brooke is now a heel. Dakota versus Rhea. Oh. Rhea actually won. Three and a half stars. I wasn't expecting three and a half stars. I was expecting like three. That's crazy. John Cena calls out AJ since we can't do the match on this show. We're going to build towards that on the next show. Drew versus Sheamus. They already had a rivalry going. And the rivalry matches tend to do very well. Four stars. 
four stars extreme rules match let's get it advertising promo for Rey Mysterio put some more money in our pockets but now ladies and gentlemen main event time it's time for your main event Cesaro versus Shawn Michaels tables ladders and chairs Ladies and gentlemen, your main event is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Making his way to the ring, his first match in God knows how long since he retired. The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Let's get it, yo. This main event. He is your reigning, defending, universal champion. The Swiss Cyborg Cesaro. This match is gonna be top five once it's over. Oh, they already chain. You hear them? They ready for this main event. HBK coming out of retirement. One more match against Cesaro. Who's in the mat first? HBK got me up. Got up Cesaro with the reversal. Come on, you gotta do better than that. You gotta do better than that, old man. You gotta do better than that. This is the Cesaro show now. Oh, HBK with the comeback? Got me in the corner. Reverse, let's get it. Gotta be quicker than that. Oh, he's already bleeding. HBK. Heading up to the top rope. After that elbow. Cesaro getting his knees up. You have to be quicker than that. Cesaro is one step ahead, bro. He's seen it all before. Seen it. Oh, oh. HBK with the kip up. Get that out of here. I've seen it before. Ah, oh, man. He caught me. Good reversal from Shawn Michaels. Giving me a little bit of a run for my money. Every time I feel like I could easily climb the ladder, like... This dude is not going away, but there we go. Taking him down. Got the ladder. Knocking him right back down again. Can I lean the ladder in the corner? Oh, I just pressed the X button. It just had the X button to lean it and look at that. That was literally a waste of time. But anyways, I'm going to just keep putting the moves on Shawn Michaels. Look at this. The UFO. What a move by Cesaro. Now I gotta put HBK through the table. HBK, not gonna know what hit him. Cesaro is prime time now. Oh, he's about to get stunned after this. Here we go, Cesaro. Got up HBK through the table. Let's go. <laughs> now you gotta go through that announce table, fam. That is gonna take him right out of this. Look at this. It's over. I got that finisher right there. HBK with the reversal, though. Every time I'm about to do a big move, Shawn Michaels right there to reverse it. And the next thing you know, he's up the ladder, climbing the ladder. Dude got me bleeding now. Wait. Oh, my goodness. Her in the torso area with the... All right, he's doing too much now. All right, let me try to focus in. <laughs> Let's both climb the ladder. Let's go for it. Both guys on the top of the ladder. See if I can knock him off. What are you doing, bro? What is that? I'll just grapple, though. Let's see if I can get him off the ladder, and I do. Time to reach for glory. Got the championship in hand. I don't mind this ladder minigame at all. Does make it a little bit harder to get it all the way in there before my opponent gets up. And HBK is back up. The only downside is that if he reaches for the title now, all those little dots are in there. And it makes it easier for him to grab the championship. Look at that reversal. Oh, not. Oh, he walling. He walling. Shawn Michaels is walling right now. I got a reversal. Oh, he throws me off. Hold on. There we go. Cesaro no selling it getting right back up you're not winning bro you're not winning let me see if I could power bomb him from behind is that gonna work no I just punch him crowd sound like they they chant we want tables they want tables but we bringing the chairs into this we already had ladders and tables in this match 
We need the chairs. We gotta complete the trifecta, TLC. But every time I get something going, HBK. He's just trying to climb the ladder and win the chance. This ain't over until I can slam him through the announce table. I just got to slam him right through, and I think we're going to be fine. Here we go. Got him on the announce table. Oh, yeah. There we go. Last time he reversed it. I don't think he's going to reverse it this time. Cesaro got HBK. Neutralizer. Through the announce table. Crowd chanting, this is awesome. Yes, indeed it is. But look at this. He's already, I think he's about to get up already. Nothing could keep this dude down. No matter what, Shawn Michaels refuses to stay. Yo, he is not staying down for nothing. Oh, come on. HBK, make it this harder than it needs to be. Trying to tune up the band. I'm about to reverse this. Watch the reversal. Rever oh, he caught me with the sweet chin music. Nah, I can't let him climb this ladder, bro. Oh, my goodness. I'm spamming the buttons right now. There we go. I'm not stunned no more. Oh, wait. What is he? He's standing on top of the ladder. I thought I could have reversed it. He's tuning up the band again. HBK might pull this off. Sweet chin music again. What? What a match. HBK got the title in hand. Cesaro kicked. Yo, he kicks up again. I got him. Grab him. Cesaro got him down. Come on. There we go. He's reversing everything I do. Not that time. I got to take this dude out of this match once and for all, bro. Definitely got to. I'm sick and tired of HBK. Wish I could kick him through the table. He really should have fell through the table. Let me get the ladder set up because I'm going to put him on that table outside. Finish him off. Climb the ladder. Grab that championship and be on my way. Let's go. Please do not reverse it. Cesaro got HBK on the table. Cesaro, spine buster through the table. HBK is stunned. Can Cesaro reach for glory? Can he beat HBK? Hand on the title and he got it. Cesaro retains the Universal Championship. What a match, bro. Universal Champion. Cesaro proven he is the face of SmackDown, the face of WWE. A five-star match against HBK, tables, ladders, and chairs, retaining his Universal Championship. What a main event.